Hello ladies and gentlemen, ¿cómo están? I'm Loxosilis and this is it. Operation Leviathan Assault the Alien Fortress. I mean, this is it. Let's do it. Oh man, I'm so anxious. Uh, anyways, we're gonna take Ragnar Mayday by Fugitive, Sunesha, Tularemia and... I think everything is set. I really don't know what else we could give these guys. They are all colonels or magi or however. I mean, it's an awesome squad. I'm gonna miss these guys so much. Let's go. There. I've infused this material with the entirety of our viable Elder DNA. We won't get another chance at this. Final connection is set. Power levels adequate. One more look at the Shen, buffer. Watch you go over this thing 50 times. Take a breath. We are ready. Primed and ready, sir. Patch me through. All right, people. The world got its wake-up call. And now they know the truth. Advent is a lie. And their time is up. They've got a full-fledged war on their hands now. While the aliens struggle to contain our world, we're gonna make a move on theirs. It won't be easy. But you're used to that. Did what was needed. You never gave up the fight. You are XCOM. And you're gonna end this. Humanity is counting on us, people. Good luck, Commander. if they detect our presence yet. Such loss. Such need is this waste. You force our hand. Yet still, we offer peace. Rejoin us, and your world will be spared. This is unbelievable. Okay. Yeah, I'm... <laughs> okay. Let's loosen up a little bit and let's start Heading there now. scouting with Pi. Nothing so far. Let's just get the guys into position. When I have fugitive, sort of on the front. Mayday, let's get you there as well. Roger that. I don't know where I want to place. Sunesha just yet. Here we'll do for now. Already there. And let's see. Tularemia. Let's get you over here. No problem, boss. 
Moving to Overwatch. Mir entgeht nichts. I'm on it. Yeah, there's a lot of alien activity to wait for. You are such blind hatred for us. We cannot understand it. Our intentions for your world were never hostile. They are still not. You are a part of us. Yeah, that's hard they to believe. actually expect us to buy any of this? <laughs> exactly. More distrust. Perhaps. You would find more reassurance in our movies if... Position confirmed. Let's leave Sunesha there for now. Here I come. I'm going. Affirmative. Covering now. Need to fire shots. Affirmative. Covering now. Affirmative. Covering now. making the rounds okay we've got a bunch of stunnies over there I'm gonna get I would like to get a little bit closer with Pai just to make sure that we don't have anything else lurking around closing on target position now just as we saw surrounding the gateway in the field the alien flora seems to flourish in close proximity to the psionic fields passing through these systems let's see we did lo lose uh, eyes on those guys so let's not get too close to that place for now i think that here will do for now orders confirmed moving out and sunesha i would like you to get a clear view into that place so here would probably work. It sucks that it's a whole bunch of half covers that we're getting over there. No, none. None of them is pretty good. So, but I think that we will have to do. Moving to Overwatch. Scanning. Scanning. I don't particularly like that. I would have preferred them to come inside. Getting reports from across the globe, Commander. Advent forces are hitting back hard. Our people are holding their own, but it's not looking good. Whatever we're gonna do, we better do it fast. Advent offered your people hope. A brighter future to be something greater but still you refuse what more can we offer you maybe from over here Sunesha will be able to let's see yeah she won't be able to see the guys that are close to this wall but she might be able to see more than from where she is now uh, bye yeah I don't like your position either let's Let's get you in this corner. Double time. Let's see. Commander's avatar. Yeah, I don't want to trigger anything yet. Let's just hold. Got it covered. Game of fire shot. On overwatch. Don't get On overwatch. Okay, so they went back to that place. Which is good actually, because I think that where, where they are. So much time spent needlessly resisting, fighting your ascension to something Let's see. greater. Yeah, Sunesha should be able to get a shot 
uh, them. Your efforts to prevent the Avatar's uh, creation, maybe. You have followed the path Probably, set right? Forth. Truly exceeding even our own lofty expectations. Okay, what's Commander. going on? Shut him out, Commander. More alien lies. Do you truly believe that to be the case? Okay, I think that's... No, actually, more like so. Okay, bye. Let's get you in this position. Orders confirmed. Moving out. Okay, from there you can see almost everyone. Let's check if we can get these guys closer without actually triggering. I don't think we'll be able to. But the good thing is that if they run inside, they're gonna have to deal with a whole bunch of overwatches. Yeah. We are not gonna get him any closer. I may... Well, no, that, that, that's not use skills on just yet. Come on, Sunesha. Oh no, that's not how you usually roll. Man. Let's hope this is not an omen. Mayday. Even Mayday is missing. Oh, don't. Wait, that cannon did not have a stock on it? How did... I'm pretty sure that that cannon had a... Oh no, it's a repeater that it has. Okay. Yeah, but that is right. Okay, let's use cereal here. Commander! Alien forces are stepping up their attacks on both resistance and civilian targets. There is still another way. Genozo? 81, it's not the greatest, but I like it. Okay, he got the dodge. Keine Wirkung. And if it comes to it, we can always use the domination from the commander's avatar. On the move. We do have to keep in mind that there's a guy behind there. 86, come on Mayday. You can hit this. And he got another freaking dodge. I only scratched him! Okay, let's see what we've got. We've got Ragnar, Tularemia Fugitive, and the Avatar. Yeah, she can deal with this guy for sure. Rock and roll! I'm inside your head. That, the guy over here is the one I'm concerned because I'm not sure that, that I'm gonna be able to get any eyes on him. And this guy is on... has a pretty decent cover for him. Closing on target position now. Let's see, 45, not great. Maybe Ragnar can get a better shot at it with the superior scope, the tracer rounds. 
he has all that nice stuff but what I don't think he has is a good position to shoot only from over here and well we are gonna kill that guy so that's okay Let's and the it. other one it's a uh, has to run all this way in order to get a flank and shoot from back there if he wants to take advantage of that flank. If not, most likely he will just run towards us. 56, still not that great, but good enough. Who's keeping score? Okay, let's see if we can get some eyes on that guy. But I do want to keep cover from that now. side. So in case he runs inside, he doesn't reveal us. Oh, look at that. So just in case he actually does reveal us, let's move a little bit further back. Out. And, well, one overwatch from the commander's avatar is all we have left. Let's see how it goes. that eventually let's take regular shots first as bad as they can be but <laughs> look at that Mayday, I am gonna get you a little bit closer. Hopefully we won't. It won't be close enough to trigger that group in the back. That was a big group. 28%. That's actually not that great. But, well, he's not gonna survive. Let's see. Let's take this one. I'm gonna get you... Well, you can't see them from there. That's weird. Tired of waiting around. Guess. Yeah, we're not gonna take a 28. I guess we have to use no no lungs here. That big group in the bag is Commander, so scary. resistance forces are pushing back against Advent, but it's coming at a heavy price. At this rate, there may not be anything left on either side. From here, we can call upon an endless region of reinforcements. Let's see. We will be overrun. 
Yeah, we can't get inside here without triggering that group, so that, that's pretty good. If you would just rejoin us. I want to check how much... well... Yeah, that's really not that great. Yet. Understood. Moving out. Let's see when we're gonna get these two guys over here. Tularinia seems fine there. And fugitive. Well, I think that for now this will have to do. Let's move already. Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. Covered. Covering now. Back in. Got it covered. For decades, you were part of this planet. You are capable of so much more. How do I want to trigger this group? The true nature of your power. Return to us, and your world will live on. Resist, and there will be nothing left to see. I mean, the prudent course of action would be to do use the blaster launcher here and uh, kill some from Sunesha, but I want to keep the blaster launcher for later on. But I do like the idea of using a kill zone. So actually, what I am gonna do is reload with her because we're probably gonna get more than two shots and do a kill zone Alf Gates. let's get it like so so we can shoot through that small window there there okay let's try again yeah there's fine and to trigger this group we are actually gonna use the commander's avatar Let's get him. Yeah, let's get him over here. One, two, three, four, six. Six chrysalids and a gatekeeper. Nice. Actually, that shot is the one I wouldn't have mind if you missed. Because I think that I am gonna mind control that uh, gate speed. Maybe not, I don't know. Maybe we'll just keep it. It depends on how much damage we, we get on these chrysalids. If we're able to handle a lot of them. Then we can just use stasis. And that's it. Are you gonna hit every single shot? I mean, that's great. It means that we have the old Sunesha back. Oh, okay, got it jinxed it. Yep. Still, 5 out of 6, that's great. And look at that group. I mean... This would probably just kill all the chrysalids except one. And... How long is the cooldown? 4 turns cooldown, yeah, let's use it. There we go. <laughs> nice okay uh, fugitive let's see if we can get some shredding going moving the designated coordinates 
maybe even a rupture. 62, yeah, that's Here, a good. Connect. Yeah, now that armor will be hard to deal with. Let's see who else we have Ragnar, Tularemia, and that's it. So let's make sure that we do deal with the Chrysalid back there because the the shield bearer we are probably Finally. gonna just use stasis on it so and there's two chrysalids still alive okay let's see if we can get a better shot at that the second one with mayday i'm not gonna well now i can't even see the second one it's... but i'm pretty sure there's one over there Maybe from over here, we're able to Heading see to it. Location. Nope. Just behind that thing over there. Maybe. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. Ragnar, you're gonna take care of this guy. Woo, you see that? We are gonna keep by his concealment. And what we're gonna do is get Mayday over here, since if this guy wants to attack anyone, he will have to go through Mayday, and she has Blade Storm. Orders confirmed. On the move. And to the Remia, let's get you in a position where you can use Stasis. Maybe you already were in that position, but anyways. Nothing gets through. On the prize. Let's see if the plan works. He he burrowed? Not a good idea, man. Hearing reports of some randomized disruptions in enemy forces on the ground. Units suddenly laying down their arms mid-battle or turning on one another. With the tower disrupted, it could be that the Elders are attempting to maintain the network on their own. The strain on them must be... Consider all those who have sacrificed for your cause, Commander. So many friends. So many allies. For what? Those shots weren't that great, actually. The right put in Angus. This one is. It's pretty good. Von der Rüstung abgeprallt. Okay, Mayday, let's see if you can finish him off. Nice. Okay, so Enemy now destroyed. let's chill for a while, let's get our ammo back. And... We're green to go. Our Seems cooldowns as well. Affirmative, covering now. Got it covered. Bye. I am gonna get you. Well, there for now. Confirmed. I'm on it. When we okay, so we let's see. We killed we four stun lancers. I think it was six 
Yeah, six chrysalids, that's 10, and a gatekeeper, that's 11. So, 19 enemies, well, no, uh, 21 enemies to go. 22, actually. Keep pushing, Commander. They're losing their grip on the world, and they know it. We have lost nothing, for our greatest weapon returns to us. We have lost you nothing. defeat them here, as you did once before, Commander. That, that we have lost na nothing Bevigo, sounded Bevigo. like, uh-uh. <laughs> We're green to go. Ragnar, let's get you a little bit closer. Here I think I everyone else is fully loaded right now. Yeah. Come get some. I'm on it. Come get some. On Covering now. So we can keep on scouting forward with Vi now. Where are you? There we go. I'm on the move. Okay, there. I think that for now, there's. That's. Yeah. Only three. I'm not buying that. The thing about these little towers over here is that it's, it looks great for our sniper, but really what it does, it. it makes us like it makes us like a weird angle where we need to shoot due to those walls and I am gonna check however let's see where's Sunesha oh there you are see I'm, I'm not getting eyes on that guy from down here I am well well not not really let's get you here for now uh, was ist da drüben? And the rest, where Vi is, you're, you're not on cover Vi, oh man, that sucks. Yeah, those things seem like cover, but they're really not. So let's move everyone towards this Order section and we can use these little things as cover instead of those that are actually lying to us. I can handle that. Yeah, Mayday, you as well. Okay. Stand by. Overwatch. On Overwatch. Affirmative. Covering now. Let's hope by is not revealed by that fake cover. I mean, by not being in actual cover. That, that's what I meant. But they would have to move all the way forward. Yeah, didn't happen. Nice. Do I still see them? Yes. That's good. Moving to position. Let me check over this side to make sure that we're not gonna be surprised. Nice. And. All the way over here, it seems like. We are not going to be triggering that group, but I'm not 100% sure about that. So for now, let's not trust that. Moving on target location. Let's do this. Uh, let's see, Sunesha, you really don't need to be close. Let's get you over here. Tempo. No problem, boss. And fugitive. I actually do not know where I want you to be. For now. Move into position. That position will do. Overwatch scanning. Moving to Overwatch. Come get some. 
And those guys don't seem to be moving, right? Okay. Let's get you over here. Heading out. Should be able to see more. Just three? That sounds weird. Let's see from here. You might see Moving. someone else. No, not really. Okay, but using this cover will actually trigger that group. So let's do a, a round of reloads and let's see what happens. Scanning. If they don't move this turn, I'm just gonna trigger them with, yeah. I'm gonna just trigger them with Sunesha. Let's get a free hit at that mutant. Let's, uh, actually before we do so, let me check if Bai isn't here. If they move forward, they might pin Bai. So, let's get her, yeah, let's get her over Board here. And now we can shoot with Sunesh. And the crit outright killing that guy, that's beautiful. Let's hope we can get a few overwatches. Uh, actually, yeah, we are not because we are not overwatching anything. So what am I talking about? The panic, sweet. Who are you shooting? Man. So we said we got twenty two enemies left. Okay, up now we've got twenty one since we already dealt with that Newton. I would like to mind control this guy, but the thing is that if the mutant shot at someone in the back, it's because there, there, there is a group close by. So if I actually take mind control over this Archon, we are gonna trigger that group. We are kind of safe back here from probably, yeah, I don't think that we, they would be able to reach us, but there's really no point taking that risk so let's just get a little bit closer and shoot Seems doable. a bolt with his chest 70% that's pretty good nice It's been a while since we got a stun with one of those. Which is kind oh of weird way. because we used to be so lucky getting stuns all the time. Maybe we wanna get this position now. Maybe. Yeah, we see both of them. Let's get it. Grappling. gonna make for a much better shot yeah 87 but he did manage to get the dodge lucky bastard okay That's it for Mr. Archon. Good riddance. Yeah, why not? Let's get a little bit closer. On Ragnar. You are at least gonna get a stock damage Let's on that mutant. Already. Which is nice. Yes. 
That is not good. We do get another kill. Roger, I've got my eyes on it. It does suck that he has that very good cover because yeah, I don't want to trigger that group yet. So let's try to kill him from over here. And we should be able to what? Okay, Mayday, thank you. I was saying that we would be now able with two null lands from from the Avatar and the Tularemia. Here I come! So I wasn't too worried about that. We're green to go! No, I wasted a reload with Sunesha. That's so bad. Oh yeah. Yeah, those three reloads with Serial are so good, and I just wasted. Them. On Overwatch. Got it covered. Moving to Overwatch. Actually, probably the last one, but I won't be able to see until I shoot. Um, no, I think I have one more. Actually. Understood. Moving out. Well, what were what what was that mutant shooting at? Oh, there we go. Hostile forces spotted. Look how nice an EMP would be there. Well, even a, a kill zone from Sunesha would be sweet. Yavol. Double time. Getting it done. And if we actually manage to get that kill zone off. It won't feel so much as a as a waste the reload. Got it, moving. Good copy, moving on target. Ready moving to, to engage. Overwatch. And I think that was a free reload as well. <laughs> now that I think of. Okay, so now we are actually, I think, down to 19. Yeah, you can only see two of them, but they will, if triggered, they will come this way. It would be nice if we could, like, sneak from behind and use the avatars um, how is it called? dimensional rift yeah maybe this is the position we want to get at Yeah, but there's no way I'm going to be able to sneak my way. I mean, we can try. If we can do it, great. If we can't, so be it.
Oh, no, okay. So that's that. But I think that probably that's the way I want to trigger it. I mean, we could use a kill zone and hope that they move. Uh, yeah, let's do that. And if it doesn't work, we can always... I mean, we, we have other options. And we could use serial. Abregelung bestätigt. Got it covered. Come get some. Got it covered. Come get some. Affirmative. Covering now. Okay, it was the other way. We could wait it out. Uh, yeah. Could wait it out. We could shoot a blaster launch. But if I do have a hit with Sunesh, I think I'm gonna take it. I don't. So, well, that being the case, I am gonna wait it out a little bit. Uh, see if they get. Towards on Overwatch. I'm on it. The right. Affirmative. Covering now. Scanning. Yep. And, oh, what did we lose? Sunesha's cover. Yep, sucks. Uh, get in Ordnung. I really want to trigger them with, with uh, a long watch, to be, to be honest. I don't want to move towards them, I want them to move towards me, so... I think that this round we are gonna get an overwatch from Sunesh. Really? Not once? There we go. And that's all he said. Den hab ich ganz sicher erwischt. 18. <laughs> nice one. Some shredding would be nice. Some damage would be nice. Target still up. Barely made it alive. And the shutdown. Okay, let's see. Sunesha, who would you be able... Yeah, you would be able to deal with these two with a... With a serial. I'm gonna try not to use it. I wanna keep some of those free reloads going. Let's see, we do have a still one, right? Nope, it's just a regular reload. So yeah, I wouldn't care that. We didn't get any Overwatch, okay? Good to know. you should be able to finish him off so 100% shot but we do need 9 damage so actually yeah he won't be able to do so 
your dimensional rift should be able to take care of quite a bit yeah let's use it And it doesn't end the turn. That's that's quite nice. So this shouldn't care about armor. So let, let's try and get rid of that guy. Oh, he just managed to survive. But for how long? That is the question. Okay, Ragnar, you will be able to deal with any of these guys. So, let's see if we can get eyes. Yeah. Tired of waiting around. Ah, but you will need to hit in you know, order to get the kill. Okay, 100% that would work. You want some more? Mayday, let's see if you can take care of the heading out. Nice. nice. And a pistol shot should be enough to finish no that other threat. guy off. So we're good. We're definitely uh, good. And oh man, when we hit it was this one, we said it was 18, so 17, 16, 15, 14, and with this one, 13. Give or take, I'm not sure at this point if we are keeping the correct, if we are keeping track correctly. That's what I wanted to say. Whatever you say. Locked and loaded. Got it covered. Bye. Let's see, where are you? Here we are. Moving to designated coordinates. This might be a little bit too risky. Let's, for now, let's just hold over here. Moving out. And let's, let's, uh, yeah, let's move forward and reload with everyone else. Heading there now. So uh, this wouldn't be a free reload, right? So it's okay if we reload with you. Let's and I am gonna check Mayday if we fucked that up and it was a. Yeah, superior auto loader. Affirmative, moving out. I'm going. Well, the other. Ready to go. Ask on low skin. Let's rock. Overwatch. So now everyone full ammo. We can move forward. Let's see what we've got. Okay, bye. Moving Let's to see if you position. can get eyes on anything. What is that? Some kind of human enclosure? There were always reports of missing civilians years before the first invasion. Could this be them? Maybe they had planned to use this for some sort of psychological testing. Rolling. For now, I'm not gonna okay. care about cover. As long as we don't okay. trigger anything, we are fine. Uh, 
heading there now. To the reading yet? I can handle that. On the scanning. Moving to Overwatch. We are still, yeah, I'm, we are still to use domination on, Headed there now. on anyone, we probably want to do so sooner rather than later. Maybe one of the first Archons would have been a, a good idea. Moving out! Let's move already. Seems doable. On May Day, I almost left you behind. Position confirmed. Covering now. An Andromedon would be nice. Maybe we want to use a blaster, a blast launcher over there. It's uh, tons of armor that we are gonna shred. I am not sure because it does come in handy once we are inside. So, hmm. Maybe uh, how much is the cooldown for this thing? Two turns to cooldown. Yeah, I don't have eyes on any of those guys. And from over here, she wouldn't, anyways. So let's see where do we want to position Sunesha. Up here probably. But this thing is right in the middle, it sucks. Actually this I think this is the place. Yeah. Pinch on the bike! Do I risk it? Yeah, I don't think we're gonna trigger anyone from this particular place. Fugitive, I want you to be right close to the front since we are gonna be needing your shredding. Let's do this! And Mate here will be Understood, enough. moving out! I'm going! Right. Got it, Overwatch. I'm on it. Come get some. I would like them to keep on moving this way. Nice. Got five guys. Let's hope this time the kill zone works. But yeah. <laughs> they are probably just gonna stay still once we use kill zone. Like they on always Overwatch. do. Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. I'm on it. On Overwatch. Sure. <laughs> Come get some. Okay. Overwatch. Overwatch. Come on, I don't wanna. Yeah. You're gonna make me use the blaster launcher, aren't you? Yeah, let's use the one on to the... Well, look at that. We don't... Ah, that's the Void Reef. That's why. Hmm. Yeah, I think we have to use this. 
it's too much shredding to ignore. Locked on. And the reason I'm using Tularemias instead of Fugitive is because, well, he has extra shredding for the for the sectopod. And also, once we we are dealing with the avatar, Tularemia has other tools for long distance shots, let's call them, while Fugitive doesn't really. Okay. I don't know how serial works with the Andromedons when you kill phase one, let's say, but I am gonna use this at least for the mutants. I am gonna wait, however, for the Andromedons, and I'm gonna try and see if. if it works for the second phase. Actually, I just realized that by using Tularemias. Uh, blaster launcher, now we don't have a mimic beacon or stasis, which isn't great, but at the same time, why is this, is this not working? Hmm. Uh, we do have the, sorry, I was talking about the, the mimic beacon. Uh, but we do have the frost bomb that we can use. It's only going to I mean the the sectorbot can thaw on and move on, on one turn. And also by well I actually I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to reach to be honest. Yeah, at least those Andromedons we are going to be able to reach. So, how much damage would we have? 8 to 10. So, 8 damage wouldn't be enough to kill this first stage. Let's try to get a shot at one of them with Ragnar first. Although, if I could get full cover, that would be much better. Hmm... Yeah, not gonna happen, is it? No, but I am gonna keep them uh, separated Finally. just in case we get thrown uh, one of those acid bombs from, from the government. Okay, Sunesha, this should count as a kill. Please. I hope this works like that. Yeah, it does. Nice. And I think... Yeah, it's May Day we've got left. So let's see if yeah. From here, yeah I can shoot that and drum it on that's nice. Throwing the hook. I wanna Ready check out. with Sunesha how much damage we do on on a shell. We do 13. So if I... Yeah, we would need 8 damage. Which is not that crazy. So let's do it. 
Or actually maybe we throw yeah, that this is better. Let's throw the axe at this guy. And then we take us. Ah yeah. Okay. I thought I was. Oh, yeah. That would work as well. Okay, let's hope for the crit. Beautiful. Fugitive. Yeah, I know you want to keep on shooting. Okay, the closer I'm gonna get with him is here. That's affirmative. Which does leave us a little bit close to each other. Yeah. Just gonna reach this guy and the frost. Same thing. So, actually, I rather... Well... I've got two of those rust bombs, so... Yeah, let's Head do this. Down. Yeah, you know what? I shouldn't have. He's not gonna be, he, he wouldn't be able to reach anyone, anyways. So, yeah, that was not a good call. keep her concealment still and maybe maybe the Andromedon is blocking the Sectopod's path I would really hope that's the case Whew, that was a close one I think he's gonna shoot again yeah, he decided to move Okay, I'm fine with that. Although he did manage to stay away from that blast. I don't even need Rapture here to be fair. But On my way. Why save it, right? It's not like it has a huge cooldown for turns. You want some? We're so close! Got him. And the free action, yeah, let's do it. Enemies down. He sure Training is. Ammo fast. Uh, get in Ordnung. Okay. Let's get you a little bit closer no problem, and why let's do some further scouting. Head into that location. That will do for now. And we were on 13 I think and we killed 5 that would leave us 8. But at this point I'm really not sure that I'm keeping the correct count. Ready to go on Overwatch. Like I've already said about 100 times, so maybe I should stop. That wasn't smart. We could trigger something. Okay, fortunately we did.
Moving out. On the move. Just two apparently. And actually these guys I would like to get one one of them. Heading out. Yeah, maybe reloading was a better idea there. Uh, was ist da drüben? Just overwatch from here. I am gonna reload fugitive to Laremia. I do want you to get closer. Let's get over there. Oh, and I'm gonna get set on fire. I, maybe if I stay still, I don't. Let's try it out. And Mayday. Yeah. I should have reloaded. All right, yeah, let's start this off. 87, not as good as you usually have, but good enough. Nice. Tularemia Okay, let's get you closer Seems doable And let's try to get this I don't think I'm gonna get, yeah, 86 It's pretty good, don't get me wrong So let's try Don't fight, let it happen Nice Okay, that's gonna be super helpful, but you Mayday, let's get you a little bit closer. Moving to designated coordinates. Um, yeah, rapid fire is not gonna be an option. Let's see if you can finish him off. If not, Commander's avatar can always do so. He's one lucky archon. Let me say. Let me tell you. I only scratched him. We do have guaranteed guaranteed damage from from the avatar. So, although if he's set on fire, I don't know well look at that I was counting on you man and okay so hopefully he will go with the for the blazing pinions or something like that I yeah I don't want to lose concealment with Vi just yet Roger that They're trying to flank us. Oh, he tried to to hit his old buddy.
Okay, let's see if we can feed one kill to the Archon. There you go. So we got the good one. They both went for a melee attack and ours hit it. Ready to rock. Let's rock. Yeah, let's rock and roll it. Turn off that Grab fire. I don't even think that we actually need to do that, to be fair, because I think that he would come, heal come. whatever that the fire damage would be, but fire shots. Affirmative. Covering now. there wasn't really any... Well, I mean, Good maybe on at some point we need that fourth heal and we won't have it, but let's hope it doesn't come to that. Okay, we've got Andromedon and and these are the last three I think. So I guess that the guys, uh, the avatar and the two archons from the inside does not go into the count. I don't know. Moving on target location. Okay, let's start bringing everyone else. Come here. Target position now. On the move. Wird gemacht. Ragnar. Get you over there. Running. To the Remia. Where can I place you? Okay, here we'll do. I can handle that. And I think that the only one that needs to reload is the avatar. Yeah, let's do so. Got it covered. Affirmative. Covering now. Scanning. Moving to Overwatch. It's getting hard to keep track of all the guys we have between the. Avatar being the seventh guy, and now the Archon being our eighth guy. Yep. As long as we stay well, look at that. Not entirely true. I mean, maybe we just want to trigger, and that's it, right? Where is Shunesha? Yeah, let's let's actually do so. We will outright kill one Codex, so that's nice. And then they were two. <laughs> they did get nice covers, sir, let me tell you. Vi also has blue screens, but it's not like I am gonna be able to use that. This is actually pretty good, but I want to keep it. Hmm. Tularemia, let's see, do you have ice on anyone? Yeah, I have ice on both. Maybe we... Yeah, you can reach that guy, so that's pretty sweet. You, I can actually just do this, which is also pretty sweet. If yeah, but I cannot get by away without revealing her. So, well, but look at that, we can manage to hit, we can hit both without hitting by, so that's great. Actually, I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. This will make the codex split. But yeah. Really? Come on, why not? Oh, come on. Damn it. There we go.
Okay, and let's see, Tularemia maybe instead we use a Void Rift. Yeah, that's pretty cool. But do I want to use a Stasis first? I'm not sure. So yeah, let's let's do this. Uh, let's. Well, yeah, no, nothing. Um, who do we have left? Ragnar. Yeah, the thing with Mayday is that we are we are really not gonna get a great shot because we are too far away. So instead, let's just deal with this codex. On. Kill confirmed. We've got fugitive Ragnar. And we still have a shot with you. Well, not really. Well, maybe, maybe this. Yeah, nice. Look at that damage. Okay, fugitive. If you hit, this would be great. Moving out. Oh, yeah, but if I put you in a position where you can't actually see him, it's gonna be kind of hard for you to hit. So, I'm sorry about that, man. Let's move already. Ragnar, I don't think you could do 10 damage. Yeah. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> Shot failed to connect. And I don't think you will be able well look at that. Twenty-five percent. You can do it man. So close. Okay, so with you what I'm gonna do is use stasis on the Andromedon. Okay, let's do it this way, it's easier. Okay. Shields. And with soul fire we are gonna just kill that codex. My mind is my weapon. Know that was good. That was awesome. Anyways, uh, you just take two. Covering now. Oh, maybe she's gonna get revealed. Yeah. They've seen me. Yeah, that's not great, but it's not the end of the world either. And you are probably just waiting to kill someone, so let's grant you that. Let's move already. <laughs> Look at that. Bye bye. Let's do this. No problem, boss. And what I am going to do is get everyone over here. 
reload overwatch as needed and I am actually gonna take a little break this has been super intense and I wanna oh, yeah. relax a little bit Locked and, loaded. and then come back and overwatch. let's see what happens then Covering now. Leading to overwatch. I was gonna say come back and win this thing but yeah it's not the time to get cocky it's time to be cool and let's see what happens I'll be back in a second okay guys I'm back and I brought with me some nice tasty coffee and now it's time to kill three avatars shall we uh, okay, let's start moving forward with Vi she's got a lot of mobility here I come astounding this entire facility submerged beneath our oceans for how long I wonder one problem at a time doctor your form is but a shadow of our truth. We seek to defy that which would consume us all. Your efforts deny the surface of the resistance before. You leave us no choice. Okay. Um, the camera is stuck. What's going on? There we go. All right. Tired of waiting around. Go, go, go! Okay, it's kind of freezing on, on me. Let's hope. It stops. Stepping off. Yeah, still a little bit clunky. Not well. Roger that. Okay, so I've seen lots of people taking different approaches on uh, at this point. Uh, the one I like to take is to divide the squad in two: one to the left, one to the right. So let's start doing so. Whatever kind of you like say. to divide things. Uh, for instance, one side operative to the right, then we take. The avatar to the left. We take one ranger to the Maybe. right. Let's take another ranger to the left. I'm all over it. Now we've got one with good aim uh, to the right. Solid copy. Let's take another one with good aim to the left. And we have a melee to the right, so let's take the Archon to the left and Fugitive will go to the move. right. Come get some. Come get some. Got moving here. Okay, let's see. Fugitive, let's get you over here. Position confirmed. Ragnar, I'm gonna keep you right there. Tired of waiting around. Tularemia, the same thing. Seems doable. And Mayday, same thing. Moving to position. And over here, I'm gonna do a similar thing. I'm gonna move the avatar over here. And let's keep the other three. Uh, get in Ordnung. Okay, let's. Bye. Let's get you over here. Finally. And the Archon. We should be able to name him. I I think that there's actually a a mod for that, so you can name your dominated, uh, whatever you wanna call him. Does this location. start things off? Advent troops yeah. here. 
you are our greatest adversary. You are our avatar. You can lead our armies and save your world. Return to us. There can be no more delay. Though I find the possibilities proposed by the creature intriguing, okay, bye. Let's see if you can get all the way over there. We didn't come here to talk. Yeah, take it down. Your persistence is admirable, Thanks. but tired. It is time to accept the path laid out before you command. It will leave you flankable by one of the archons, but that's okay. Ninety percent. Let's take it. Nice. Beautiful. Went off the armor. Let's see where he's going. Oh, you shouldn't have. Okay, Mr. Archon. Why is it... Are you not gonna be able to hit from here? That's kind of weird. There we go. 70%. Nice. Not a lot of damage, let me tell you that, but... Good enough. I could use my Rage Strike, I kind of hope that I don't have to. I think... Yeah, let's do this. We might... It might be enough. Okay, Mayday, you got the first one. Way to go, bro. There's Avatar. Let's see if we can get another Archon pet for now. But I think you have to be in a position where you can actually see them. Which over here seems to be the case. Nice. Tunisia, I want you, let's see, yeah, over here I think you will have good visibility all around, and Ragnar, yeah, it seems like you are going to be able to take a shot from here, let's move already. come on buddy, good shot man. Fugitive, let's see if you can follow suit. Moving on target location. Okay, that's my fault. I did put a lot of pressure on you. I'll get him next time. And I don't think I want to spend a stasis just for this guy. I'm going. Maybe insanity is not too much of an investment. Yeah, let's do You're this. You're losing control. He will probably go for the, the other Archon, so that, that would be okay. Let's see what they brought. Three mutants, we can handle that. And one is already panicked. Great.
Nice one. Nice job. Way to go, Mutant. Let's see what else. Okay. Bye. Uh, no, Mayday. Cool. Nice. Oh, you, you've got untouchable, sure. Over here. It doesn't seem like you are using Multiple that power very well, to be honest. And we've got three Crusades, which I'm also okay with. Okay. Let's see how we want to handle this. You could... Let's see. You are able to see all of them. But you won't have a great shot, right? Because, well, it's good enough. I mean, more than enough. So you could, like, uh, use lightning hands on one. And then maybe shoot two with... Serial and then yeah, that's pretty much it, which is not bad. It's great actually. But what else can we do? Commander Saboteur, we could always use this. It's just a four-second cooldown, so it's not that bad. We could also. We are not gonna be able to hit three of them. But actually, with this plus uh, Sunesha's lightning hands and cereal we would be able to kill all three so that's actually something we might want to consider and it's not like we have a lot more on this side we could bring by to kill one of them if we needed to so yeah let's let's do that let's, let's do that and let's have by deal with the archon so we have all the other group to take care of those three mutants It is a little bit risky to spend so many bullets, so, so much ammo from Sunesha, we might... Well, yeah, we might be in a position where we need that just that one shot from her and we are not gonna be able to have it. And maybe this is not enough actually, but let's see, let's try. Well, with a crit, I'm pretty sure it is. So, this is actually pretty cool, right? She's, she's got three chrysalids all waiting to take a go at her and she keeps her cool and kills all three of them. Pretty cool if you think about it. It is. And she can still keep on shooting, right? 87. You don't get eyes on the mutant on the Archon. That, that that's kind of sucks, but it's okay. Let's see uh Vi. Here you are. You should be able. Is this height advantage? I'm not sure actually. It's not actually, but 83 is pretty darn good. Nice. Just three mutants to deal with. Okay, unpackable. Well, you know what? I'm gonna bring you up here. It's a pretty good position to be in. Uh, oh, yeah. Let's do this. Fugitive. Let's see if we can. Yeah, you're not gonna get any height advantage, but Closing let's keep you with high cover. 
65, come on man, you can do this. Sweet. Yeah, let's see if you can finish it off. Probably. Okay, Ragnar. Now the pressure is on you. Now it's you, the one that has to follow. Let's do this. Fugitive's hit. Let's see if, if you fall under the pressure like he did. No, you don't. Awesome. And this is actually the last guy that it, uh, that can damage us on, on this turn. The other one is panicked. So beautiful. And I really wanted that to hit because that means that we can actually reload. Use serial to just reload. Ich bin bereit. Nice. So we've got Tularemia, Mr. Archon and the other Archon. Oh, and we still have Mayday. A crit from you would take care of this guy but you're not able to flank him so well yeah we could using either the grapple or run and gun but I want to keep those just in case we could got a lot of terrain to cover at some point true of 50 or one of 65 I rather take two fifties Yeah, like you need to. Enemy down. Okay, let's see. I would want. Actually, I would like to give get you. I mean, I, I on this mission I like to cover as much terrain as possible. Whatever you say. But I would also like you to take an Overwatch shot to whatever comes down from there so instead I am gonna do that moving to overwatch but with you yeah let's cover more terrain Scan and she beat. still wants to shoot stuff she 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 didn't have enough the cavalry's here See, one avatar, two vipers, and two heavy mechs. Haha, <laughs> nice one! These two guys, three guys, maybe four. Yeah, they're just begging for an acid bomb. Enemies moving on our position. Okay, this time they all came from the same side. That this is actually the first time that I see this happen. It's not great to be honest, but we'll probably be able to handle it. I hope so, at least. Okay, first things first, let's take uh, two shots at the face of this avatar guy. Don't shoot at the avatar. Thanks. all that damage so oh, now I'm really happy that I got rapid fire on her instead of Reaper 
and he decided that it was a good idea to teleport right next to our Archon. I don't think he's gonna be able to kill him even though he's just got 3 health. But... Yeah, let's try to do so. It kind of feels wrong, to be honest. Yeah, but... Nice. And the reason why I said that it kind of feels wrong, because it's like... Someone else should have gotten the honor of killing the, the avatar. But... Oh well. How do we want to handle this? Let's see, Sunesha. Yeah, let's see if you can just kill this guy. You would if you hit, unless it's a... Uh, well, it could but... Nice. But it didn't. We've got death from above. And if we need it, we could use Iker's jump and use that to kill another codex. Since they are so vulnerable to blue screens. We could also use Vi for that. Uh, where are you, Vi? I mean, you are in a great position to shoot at the Viper. But at the same time, you could come all the way over here, run and gun, grapple over here. Um, flank one of these codes. Yeah, and actually they, they are more of a threat than, than a panicked viper, so actually let's do so. Let me think. Yeah, let's do so. And with Tularemia... If we were in a better position, we could use Nullans on all three of them. We still have the Commander's Avatar and the Dimensional Rift. Let's see if that reaches. Ah, so close. What else do we have? This Archon is not gonna be of much help. And Fugitive... We still have the Blaster Launcher. I was thinking that we might want to save it for the Avatar. But... Uh, two Heavy Mechs with their explosives, they could be a little bit problematic, to be honest. But we are not going to be able to kill anyone with just that. So maybe what we want to do... Yeah, and Ragnar is not going to be able to kill one of these codices, codices by himself as well, so... Yeah, I'm not sure. Okay, let's do this with Vi. Let's move already! Could even grapple to these stairs over here. Nice. Deploying grapple. Between the mobility and the grapple hook, it's, it's ridiculous the amount of of uh, the distance we can cover in one turn. Ah, but we don't have run and gun. That's actually very bad. But yeah, we should. Yeah, it's a guaranteed kill. And then we've got implacable. So. I'm not sure when I wanna put her. Well, this guy is gonna be able to flank her regardless. So I'm actually gonna place uh, in a like in a tempting spot. Tired of waiting around. Maybe that way she. Well, we are gonna try to kill her. But if we can't, uh, she's gonna try to. We 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 want to tempt her into shooting. Mayday that has untouchable. Here I come. That's what I meant to say. Yeah. 
Yeah, but we are probably gonna kill her, so... Fugitive, where are you, man? Okay. Moving the designated coordinates. Blackable as well. Good copy. Move on, on target. We still have Tularemia and she could She could actually inspire. I'm not so much worried about the codex as I am about these guys. So she could inspire uh, um, fugitive Fugitive could throw a blaster launcher there and Sunesha could use Icarus and probably kill one of these guys and yeah it's no actually she's gonna be doing 8 to 11 damage so it's not gonna be enough instead what we might want to do with Tularemia is just use Stasis on one of these heavy mechs so it's not something we have to worry about Let's see, we also have Commander's Avatar. He can shoot at... Yeah, that Viper. He does, however, have the uh, ability to deal some damage on one of those guys. So maybe between all of them, we can kill one. Let's see, and this Archon is the one that it's mind control, so we are gonna be losing that mind control soon enough. Maybe we can, well, we cannot hit all three of them. So, yeah, but let's do this. like to get to Laremia in a position where she can see just one of those and here it's probably it although from over here I might um, yeah let's not risk it well yeah let's get her over here no Maybe with the null lens I can hit more than once. I don't really think so, but who knows? Yeah, not just this guy, but it's good enough. My lance pierces all. Okay, Archon, let's uh, actually I like your position, let's just stay there. And Sunesha, yeah, let's deal some damage to, well, I don't think I'm gonna be able to see anyone from there, so uh, let's just keep you there. Need a fire shot. what they can four berserkers quite a bit of health Stay inside the bubble, nice. <laughs> that overwatch won't help you much, let me tell you. Oh, no, 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 don't, 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 don't. Shit. She's gonna be damaged by the, the side bubble. That kind of sucks.
Okay, he just, she just got one. Who are you guys? Looks like they called in backup. Okay, so now all the fun is on this side of the map. Okay, you got quite a hit. the commander here you are still not able to use mind control one of those berserkers would have been sweet let's see and Sunisha okay well first thing first let's deal with that Codex, let's just get rid of him. Oh, instead of doing like that, revival? What, what, what revival? Mayday? Why is that? Is Mayday disoriented or something? Yeah, that's the case. Okay, instead of doing that, I should have actually um, heal Mayday and then move and then shot shoot if I, if I could. But the priority should have been well, actually, it still is. Um, so yeah, let's heal her. I really don't care about the disorient at this point. Go patch him up. And Fugitive will be able to take care of that Codex, albeit using, well actually, probably with, with Fugitive we wanna, we wanna use his launcher on, on, on those Berserkers. 73, we need you to feed this Mayday, please. Beautiful. Neutralized. Out of ammo here. So if it's not fugitive, who else could take care of that? Yeah, I am missing up the fourth berserker actually. I don't know where he is. Well, yeah, let's do let's do this. With fugitive we we can use rage strike like so and then we can use the the blaster launch kill confirmed actually he has implacable so I think that he could go very far away. I think I still have a blue move. Yeah, there we go. Uh, not enough to throw an acid. Well, maybe maybe it is enough. Let's see. Let's check it out. Affirmative. Moving out. It is enough, but to hit just one, so no. I'm gonna use this one because I do think the other one is around there. And this is probably gonna hit three. Nowhere to hide. No, just two. Okay. I do not know where the third one is. Okay, Sunesha, what I am gonna do with you is the following. I'm gonna bring you all the way over here to safety. 
And I know, I know I'm not gonna be able to deal with those uh, Berserkers, so... Actually, your kill zone is gonna be aimed towards these uh, sectoids over here. I am gonna do it like so, just maybe we get a shot or two to a Berserker, they go into that zone. Um, and the Archon, actually what I'm gonna do with you, is I'm gonna try to force these uh, sectoids into moving with blazing pinions. Tularemia from over here, I'm probably gonna be able to use... Uh, oh, I already did use the now lights. But, yeah, Void Rift. That's nice as well. Maybe we'll get some disorientation, maybe even a mind control. No, not really. Okay. Let's see, I would like to get a shot off. But at the same time, I think you're gonna be exposed to a sectite from over here. That would be okay. And I am a little bit afraid about this Archon over there. He's probably about to uh, become a problem. So actually, yeah, let's do this. Let's have him waste his blazing pinions and as far away from us as possible. So now we've got a lot of berserkers to deal with, those sectoids, hopefully Sunesha does some work on them. Well look he's still mind control, that's nice. But those berserkers might be, uh, oh look and they came from this side as well. On the ground. Another couple of Berserkers, two mutants, and the Avatar. Now I kind of wish I have the blaster <laughs> launcher for this, but... What was that? I mean, thank you, but uh, yeah, I did not understand why you did that. Uh, another one? Okay. <laughs> Those berserkers are going rogue. I think he's still close enough to the to the blazing pinion.
Nice. And very nice. I think those two sectoids are probably well this one for sure. And the other one I think he might be dead. I don't have the blaster launcher, but I do think I still have the acid bomb. Well, yeah, the vipers now went down. Still, it could be quite helpful, to be honest. If we manage to get it, I think we might be able to. It's a, from over here, perhaps, or here. I'd rather use this place. On my way. We are gonna get uh, an overwatch shot. Right. Okay, fine with that. Uh, we just hit the avatar, but you know get what? That's the guy we wanna kill, so it's okay. Nice shredding. Who do we have around? Tularemia, we could do some guarantee damage with you, but I think, let's see, I think I'd rather shoot you with the Vault Caster. Soul Fire, how much damage? 6 to 8, but since he has no armor, uh, yeah, I actually like the bolt caster shot better. I can handle that. And I am not caring about the rest. I mean, I'm pretty confident that we are gonna be able to kill him on this turn. It might not be the smartest thing in the world, but... Mayday, you could do some work on him, Ragnar. I mean, you, I know that at least you're gonna make him reposition, so... Let's move already! I kind of... Yeah, I could kind of finish him off with by... We, we have run and gun. We don't even need run and gun, to be honest. But... Let's hold on to it. Ah, oh, come on. I'm all out. And okay. Commander Avatar versus Avatar. I like this duel. Although I don't think I'm gonna get a great shot, to be honest. 65, that's kind of shitty actually. Yeah. So, Sunesha to the rescue. Sweet. Mm. 
Hmm. And now, how we're gonna do that? Maybe the Archon is gonna be a tough shot. This guy is actually paying off quite well. There we go. 40%. Mm. Please. <laughs> he killed both. The last two avatars killed by the same Archon. He's the MVP of this mission. And we made it, guys. We did it. Without the Elder stabilizing the psionic network, everything's going haywire. That gate's not gonna hold much longer. You heard her? Shen, tell me you've got a plan B here. Nice work. Was it anything on my end? This shouldn't even be possible. Unless... Commander, whatever it is you're doing, it's working. Just make sure you save enough juice for your own trip home. Commander, you okay? We just lost contact. Enveloping the commander's consciousness. Then sever the connection. We do that, we risk a complete overload. We will claim what was given. We will be whole once more. No! Synaptic activity returning to acceptable levels. And one transdimensional psionic network down for the count. Mission accomplished, Commander. This is the Liberation Network broadcasting on all frequencies. Advent is in full retreat across all areas. The heavy fighting continues in the city centers as Advent forces attempt to regroup. We're barely keeping up with the flood of refugees here, as people continue to desert the Advent-controlled city centers. Full curfew remains in effect as the administration deals with the ongoing crisis. To all of you in the occupied zones, hold your ground. Continue the fight. We promise you, help is on the way. Okay guys, what, what can I say? I mean, this was an amazing ride. It was so much fun. I am kind of, I am a little bit sad that it's ending, that it's ended actually. 
but I mean, I couldn't be happier with the outcome. We did it, we saved the world from these fuckers, and yeah, I'm really, really happy about that. Anyways, I mean, we, we had an amazing squad. The, this last couple of guys that we brought were awesome. Uh, Fugitive, Ragnar, Mayday, Vi, Sunesha, and Tularemia. Also, I don't want to forget about Whiskey, Tsunami, both uh, Duchess and Warlord, our other Grenadiers, uh, Diarmuid, our other Ranger that made it alive, Fu, <laughs> our great Fu, and Suko. All of the guys that are amazing and it was super fun to play uh, with a squad like that and I am gonna miss them a lot. Also, I don't want to forget about the ones we lost, the ones that were in just one mission like Spark, who was on the first mission and on Gatecrusher. She got a very unfortunate shot, I think it was from an officer and she was on full cover and everything but she got one shot and she died and that made that gate made gate crusher so much more difficult because we had to deal with the rest with just three guys and that meant that only one made it out un unharmed and the first couple of missions were really really hard because of that actually we lost another one we lost uh, specter which it was like a sacrifice because we needed to get that engineer on our first mission and we needed to recover an item, it was behind enemy lines, let's say. And the only way to get it was if she... I mean, the chances of her surviving that were really slim, but we had to do it anyways, she did it anyways, and... I think that today we would be, we would be singing a different song if it wasn't for that. Also, Wisdom, he, he also died on, on his first mission. It was a very uh, hard mission we almost lost it uh, and he got he got killed by a stun lancer it was a period it, there were like a five or six missions and there was a period of five or six missions where stun lancers did a lot of work on us and he was the first casualty then we lost to another stun lancer we lost camille she was a grenadier also on her first mission uh yeah senseless death uh, again, she was one shot by a stun lancer, and it really sucked. Then we had uh, guys that that were really important to the squad, but we lost anyways. Like Gangnir, uh, he was an amazing ranger. He his uh, Overwatch shots from very far away, always on point, hitting everything. He was awesome. Also, our first Spark, K, that. He was so much fun with the Julian voice. He, yeah, and, and he he was a key uh, member of of the squad when we had to deal with the Archon King, and he yeah he helped immensely. And last but definitely not least, Direwolf. He was awesome. He was a, on her, on the first mission. He was there. He was the 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 one that came unharmed, and. On the first stage of the game, he, he carried us so hard, he was uh, our commanding officer, so I, I think he was one shot as well, actually. I don't remember exactly, but I think so. Yeah, so I think, uh, yeah, if, if any of the soldiers that we lost needs like a special recognition, that, that would be Direwolf. That's it, uh, <laughs> we are done. Uh, I don't know what else to say. Well, let's talk a little bit about what's coming. Uh, I'm probably gonna start working on Season 2. I'm gonna start uh, trying out a few mods. I do have uh, a vague idea of what I want. It, would, it will involve uh, the Long War Perks mod and some other mods as well to balance it out because I think that's uh, pretty powerful, so we need to balance it out. And I do want to try to make it a little bit harder than, than Vanilla. Maybe it's not going to be that successful. But anyways, I'm going to uh, upload a video tomorrow or maybe the day after that. Talking about the mods, talking about how you guys can include those 
soldiers on, on the campaign and maybe and this is just a maybe i am gonna do a stream like a sort of a getting ready for season two kind of stream i don't know maybe on saturday some i i really don't know at this point but i will plan it out and i will upload a video uh, tomorrow or the day after that explaining all the details anyways uh this has been a uh, amazing journey and I'm really happy to have to have been able to share with you guys you rock uh, special thanks to Sunesha, uh, Kay, Talsman, uh, Diarmuid you guys gave me some soldiers to include in our squad and they were awesome also a special thanks to Luck Luckless Lovelocks that he helped me a lot with the content and how to improve and I don't think that, that this campaign or this series would have been the same without him. Uh, him and Sunesha, they both helped me a lot improving and making the content uh, the best I could possibly create. By the way, uh, the black screen you're seeing at this moment, it's actually the same I, I'm seeing. Uh, I don't know why, but the last I, the last two or, or or maybe just the last time I also beat the game it never came to the screen where you get the badge and the statistics it just dies <laughs> and I was hoping that this time it wouldn't be the case but it was and so yeah that's why why we've got this black screen so guys yeah that's it that was it for the first run, the first playthrough of XCOM Legend Iron Man. It's been a pleasure, it's been an honor, it's been super fun, and I'll meet you on the next one. See you guys, and thanks a lot for watching, and remember, think twice before killing a spider. Bye.